most admissions offices that I'm familiar with and certainly true in our office love talking to students and we'll, are very happy to talk about the way our process works. Hi, this is Dr. Jed McCosco at Wake Forest University and academicinfluence.com. And today we have an old friend of mine, Stu Schmill, Dean of Admissions and Financial Aid at MIT. It's great to have you today, Stu. Thank you, Jed. Great to be here. Well, I know a lot of people have a lot of questions about admissions, but one of the questions that I've asked other deans of admissions is, how do you feel as a dean of admission about people using coaches, consultants, things like that? What's your sort of gut feeling about that? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? How do you think it's going to change over the next few years? So um, I, I don't think uh, it's hard to make a blanket statement about um, uh, getting advice uh, and help for students um, because it really, the answer to a lot of questions is often it depends on the circumstance. I think that um, many students and parents um, see the admissions process uh, as a bit of a mystery and don't necessarily know either what we're looking for or whether there's an actual strategy or anything like that. And that can feel uh, unsettling, right? If, if you don't really feel like you know the game and um, especially if you perceive it as a game. And um, so sometimes working with someone can just help um, shed a little bit of light on, uh, on the process. Although I will say that another way to, to learn about that is just simply to call admissions offices and ask questions because most admissions offices that I'm familiar with and certainly true in our office love talking to students and will, are very happy to talk about the way our process works and what we're looking for and what students should be doing or not be doing. So um, I think, so I think generally speaking, um, you know, too much help is not necessary because um, our application is fairly uh, self-explanatory. Uh, we ask questions that we're simply wanting to learn the answer. Um, and there are no like trick questions. So it's not like that there's something that students need to be doing that they're not doing or presenting to us that they're not presenting. Um, it, it really should be straightforward. But I also understand that students have questions about this. The other thing that I think sometimes students can struggle with, and sometimes it can be helpful to talk with someone, is figuring out um, where to apply um, uh, because, you know, there are literally thousands of colleges across the United States um, and so many of them are excellent places. I mean, the reality is that almost any college that a student is going to attend uh, will be a great environment uh, provided the student makes it a great environment, right? So, um you know, a, a successful college experience, much more dependent on what the student makes of it than, than the college itself, because most colleges have more opportunities than any student can participate in anyway. And so, um, you know, you, you can be a student that has a great experience anywhere. You can also be a student that has a terrible experience anywhere, um, sort of uh, up to you and how, how you approach it. So, so given that there are so many places that um, are viable and most students and parents wandering around haven't heard that many colleges. And there are a lot of colleges out there that um, you might not have heard of that are phenomenal places. I know my older daughter is about to graduate from a school in Pennsylvania that before the whole process she'd never heard of. And great experience for her. So, you know, that, that kind of thing where opening your eyes to other places is something that, that often, that, that can be helpful. I mean, there are other ways of doing it without help, certainly, but so anyway, that's a very long answer to, to that, uh, maybe relatively simple. Question. Well, actually, I really appreciate it because you covered a lot of ground. You talked about that a, a college coach can actually help you find which schools to apply to. That might be the most valuable thing that a college coach can help you do. Whereas maybe mm -hmm. it's not as necessary as people might think. So overall, 
you know, you could just tackle it yourself. So I think that's great advice. And Stu, I yeah. really appreciate you meeting with me today. Even just one question was, was enough for me to get a better insight into your thoughts, having spent a lot of time in the admissions process. So thank you for talking to me today. I really appreciate it.